Hello and welcome, in this video we will cover the most important facts about the Chamber of Time on Rebels Gambit. Talking about the times it starts, the systems, the rewards and what you can do with those. Every day at 6am in the morning, 2pm in the afternoon and 10pm in the evening the Chamber of Time will start. These times are the German times, all other times are now displayed. Currently there are two game modes. Red light, green light and pillar PvP. The squid game will start at the booth times. The PvP game starts 40 minutes after the start of the first game. The Chamber of Time is not a special event and is available at any time. However, a Chamber of Time event with double coins would be a really cool idea. Chamber coins or Chamber token are the reward for your work in the Chamber. I'm not sure what I see on this coin, but it looks a lot like Jagluf of Valheim. The game Red Light Green Light works very simple. If a green light column is lit, you are allowed to run. If the light is red, you are not allowed to move. In case you are moving while the red light is shining, you will die and lose. The goal is to reach the other side within 5 minutes. Your reward is 25 coins per character. The Shamba weakens you with a speed debuff. Using a mount pad can help you give a smoother movement pattern. Even if a character without a mount and a lot of buffs can be much faster. In the chamber I would always use WASD and not the mouse to move. The second game is Pillar PvP. Here the goal is to take over the light pillars. The opposing team has the same goal. Only the winning team gets chamber coins. In order to not go completely empty handed you can collect up to 20 points by converting light pillars. After 15 minutes the chamber of time ends. The team that has the most light pillars under control at this time wins. If the opponents are too strong for you, you can play smart instead of hard. While one player is distracting the PvP base, the other is busy converting the pillars. The winning team gets 50 coins per character. Another clue, if you ever wondered why you are weaker and do less damage in the chamber, it's because of other debuffs you get when you enter the chamber. You can exchange your rewards with an NPC in the south of the hidden village. The most important item for most players here is the Typhon Scroll. 